Alrighty. So, I was out fishing today out at the jetty and uh, wind up getting a catch a couple of blacks here. Pretty sweet. Couple of chompers. So what I was using out there at the jetty today, I was using my 9 foot SST Akuma rod, super sweet salmon rod, but since they don't let us fish for salmon in California anymore, I use it for rock fish and surf perch. Got my 20 pound braid on here, Strike King, you can use any 20 pound braid, high viz. From there, got 20 pound monofilament joined with a double uni knot, about four feet, five feet. From that, I go down to a barrel swivel. And then from the barrel swivel, I do another 20 pound test. This is broke off right now, but I do another 20 pound test. And I'm going to show you how I tie this. This is the most important part of the terminal tackle on the Moron Ring. So now you got that swivel, and then from the swivel, you got about four feet of 20 pound test monofilament. I just use the fisherman's knot to connect it to the swivel. You can use any knot you want. Now is the most important part. So you take your hook. It could be any hook you want. I'm just using this red one just for demonstration purposes. If you're fishing for trout, use a worm hook. And this works good with a night crawler. So you just go like this, you take your leader, go right down to the top of the hook. And then from there, and then right underneath your hook, you just thread on a bead. Any color bead, it doesn't matter. And then you got the end of your, so it's going to look like that. Here's your, going up to your rod. You got your swivel. You got your leader. You got your hook. And you got your bead just floating like that. And you take this, you double it over, make a loop like that, take it through here, one, so it looks like this, one, two, oh, get a little coordinated here, two, I like to go three. Two is probably enough. Wet it. Got your tag in. 
pull it tight. Now you got it tight. So now you clip off your tag end. Again, then what I like to do at this point you can use a one ounce weight, half ounce weight, two ounce, whatever. But what I like to do is I like to take a three quarter ounce cast master, that loop that I formed here. Again, you got that. I don't know if you see it's getting dark. So you got that slide just like that. You got your loop with your triple surgeon's knot, surgeon's loop, whatever you want to call it. Take that loop, stick it through the split ring on the cast master, open it up, take the hook and the fat part of the cast master, and then pull it through. And there you go. That's the rig. So you got your hook, you got your cast master. You can do your loop different lengths to get different distances. This will slide up and down. As this works, this will flutter. It's deadly for rockfish. And with this hook, what I was using today, I used the curly tail, had a brown curly tail on there. We'll just throw it on here, just for playing around purposes. Boom. And that slides up and down, the fish hit it take it, let some run. It's just an incredible rig. Um, bass fishermen call it the free rig and they'll use a little drop shot weight at the end. But at the end for my weight, I like to use a cast master instead of a weight. It just gives me an extra flash, a little bit of flash, plus the weight, a little extra action. Uh, today I was out there for about two hours. Caught like 10 fish on maybe you know, 18 casts, I had to stop every once in a while. There's some scuba divers out there, so I had to let them do their thing. But pretty deadly. Pretty deadly. All right, that's it. It's getting dark. Peace.